11 people watching and not one of them saying anything. Fuck me, I just went hee hee cat. My horse? Is that where we're going? Could I kill my own horse? No, don't do that though, that'd be bad. That would be needlessly nasty. I am getting fairly hungry again. Be careful down there, boss! All I had was when I had some to eat earlier with basically two slices of bread with some yeah. cheese. Yeah. Hardly a sufficient breakfast. Not when I've been awake since like five o'clock. So where am I going? In here somewhere. Distract the guy. Uh, the best place to spot from this, I don't think. So. so I'm just gonna go in and take it with the out. Quiet like. Я получил письмо от Гриши. Заня погиб. Так он не выжил? Че? На прошлой неделе тот новенький совсем выбирал Его пусть получил. У нас еще не так вот. Мой приятель из штаба говорит, что ведь твой занят каждый полгода. Так много? Наши войска в общем теряют больше ста человек в месяц. Так было бы здесь три года. Мы их больше валим. Я с тобой, товарищ, успокойся. Иногда кажется, это все зря. Тоже я буду следующий. Вася, и Карпи. Все, забудь. Go down.
units on board. Give the rest to us. Yeah, uh, Miller, there's, there's a few people coming in. He's coming too. Roger that. Subject is in. Stuff from our base. <laughs> Wrong way. There's <laughs> a look. What other side up is there? Extract the lost sheep, which is a decent bit away from me. So I won't bother with that one. In fact, I will. I'll just call the helicopter in. Roger. Support helicopter should also resupply me, wouldn't it? I've, I've been a bit Falcon heavy there. Falcon heavy. Before I go back in, I'm going to go see what the cat wants, because I think Winston, he's learned how to pull the door open downstairs, he tends to come in, sit on the landing and go, meow, meow. So I may go see what he wants, and then make myself a sandwich. You can listen to sick cassette tapes, also lots of briefings. He said I was in a British military hospital, but the doctor had a Greek accent. They hire locally. Easier to trust them. De Kelly is also home to Greek Cypriots, after all. What about the Turks? They haven't returned to the south. Not yet. The Cyprus dispute is still a long way from resolved. The country is just as split as it was in 74. Turkish Cypriots in the north, Greek Cypriots in the south. Between them, the Green Line, the UN established. And De Kelly sits right on top of it. It does. 
part of the buffer zone between the two groups. Another reason it was the perfect place to hide you. Easy to spot any outsiders snooping around. So how do things stand? Now, last year, the Turks declared that the Turkish Republic of Northern Cyprus is an independent state, though it's only Turkey that recognizes it. In the past, the Greeks and Turks lived side by side in the same villages. There are reasons to fight. Those came from the outside. Greece, Turkey, Britain, America, they all had their own stake in pitting the two sides against each other. But once you spark something like this, it's impossible to control. Both sides build up grudges like debt, without the foresight to see that each act of revenge just fans the flames, and then it's too late for other nations to rush in with peace talks. The embers keep on smoldering. Each nation's arrogance only breeds anarchy. The world is paralyzed by this hunger for revenge. Cyprus is no different. You're up. We're changing ships. Well, we can't go sailing the Suez in a whaler. The Suez Canal. When did they reopen it? Not long after you were attacked. Once they finish sweeping it for mines after the Arab-Israeli conflict. Can you stand? Yeah. We're gonna transfer to a container ship for passage through the Suez. Our destination is Pakistan, Afghanistan's neighbor to the south. There, we disembark and head via Peshawar to the Zero Line, the border. We'll travel to the Khyber Pass by road. And then? We continue on horseback. Afghanistan's main roads are under Soviet control. We'll need to go around them. It'll be all narrow, winding paths through the mountains. We'll do better on horseback. It's a local guerrilla tactic. They use the higher ridges to avoid air recons. Then they charge down the mountains for ambushes. The Soviets still haven't devised a counter strategy. Our time frame is only half as much as we really need. It's gonna be a tough march. Better horses than boats. Well, it'll make for good physiotherapy. Take the time to get used to that new arm. While the Soviets have indicated they are not participating in the Los Angeles Olympics, primarily because the United States has made no attempt to guarantee the safety of the Soviet Union's athletes, the United States is increasingly demonstrating the belief that the issue has nothing to do with its preparations, and in fact this is retaliation for the Western nation's boycott of the previous Moscow Olympics. That concludes today's news. That's quite some news. Uh, the Soviet Union not attending the LA Olympics? Yeah. Andropov's death has changed some things. They're calling it revenge for the Western boycott of the Moscow Olympics. Countries boycotted the Moscow Olympics? Yes. In protest of the Soviet Union's invasion of Afghanistan, over 50 countries were absent. It's too bad I didn't get to see Yamashita's judo. When the 40th Army crossed the Amu River four years ago, detente went right out the window. The U.S. Congress chose not to ratify SALT II. And Reagan's hardline politics won in the presidency in a landslide. According to him, the Soviet Union's an evil empire. <laughs> the Second Cold War. And there's been no end to regional conflicts and civil wars. Lebanon, the Falklands, Grenada, Iran, Iraq. The story never changes. Egypt and Israel did sign a peace treaty. But then the driving force on the Egyptian side, President Sadat, was assassinated afterward. Apparently, his actions were considered a betrayal of his fellow Arabs. Islamic extremists? Yes. Fundamentalist extremists have been responsible for some bold acts of terrorism in recent years. We've had extremist students in Iran take U.S. Embassy workers hostage in suicide bombings in Lebanon. Over 300 foreign soldiers stationed there have been killed. Countries have yet to develop an effective means of dealing with terrorism. Afraid of losing their own men, they've pulled their forces out, handing private forces a golden opportunity. Private forces? Small armies with no national affiliation, working for the highest bidder.